welcome to Prudent News. Now look at the headlines. 86 students from Malik Arjun School at Kankon suffer from food poisoning from midday meals. Students find insects in the food. Tussle between line producers and Punji residents intensifies. Residents accept that they took donations. Shoot somewhere else, they tell producers. Drug seizure in Goa increases in six months. ANC seizes drugs worth 34 lakhs, figure to cross previous year's record by year end. High Court takes a dig at Goa government on Sada Jail food poisoning. Inquiry report reveals illegal activities in Sada Jail. And Goans for Dabali members asked Chief Secretary's intervention to stop construction at Dabali. Wants to go to any extent to retain Dabali as sole airport in Goa. And now the news in detail. 86 students from Malik Arjun School at Kankon suffered food poisoning from midday meal. Students found insects in the food. Eight students were referred to hospice. Omkar's self-help group from Kinle Kankon supplies the food. Collector has asked the FDA to submit detailed report. Action will be initiated thereafter. Students of Malik Arjun School at Kankon found insects in the midday meal. Omkar self-help group from Kinle Kankon supplies the food in the school. Students felt uneasiness and vomited after consuming the food. Eleven students were admitted in primary health centre at Kankon. South Goa collector, Kankon Mamledar and other officers visited the site. If there is something wrong, we found it. We come to rest to the crime against them. Yeah. Actually, there is a system of the checking the... Uh, I remember it when I was the director of the we have given a system that before giving the food to the children, one teacher or one parent has to test the food. I have to check it with the education department whether the system is still continuing or not. Students had informed the staff members about the insect in the meal, but teachers ignored their observation. <laughs> Hundreds of people gathered at the school premises. Parents are demanding immediate arrest of Sandhya Desai, who supplies the food. But Sandhya claims that she supplied food to other schools too, but received no complaint on Thursday. I phone a phone call and I had 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 a phone call and I a team of hospice your hospital doctors rushed to Kankon. Eight students were shifted to hospice your initially. They were discharged, but later they encountered the same symptoms. We have given treatment to all of them. All are fine, nothing to worry. They are absolutely fine. Patient pile, first aid delay, medicine, they have delay. Atta patient, I am the ambulance. 
back to itu lata kalpana. A team of FDA members checked the kitchen of the self-help group, but it was clean and tidy. Government will take action once FDA submits its report. The food inspectors are there. They are going to take care of the report. They are going to take care of the government. They are going to take care of the government. They are going to take care of the government. They are going to take care of the laboratory testing. Bureau report prudent. The tension between line producers and residents of Panji is intensifying. Residents of Kampal accepted that they take donations from film producers, but to clear the mess that happens during shooting, film line producers had alleged that Kampal residents extort money from them. This is the bite of line producers that put corporator Kabir Makija and residents of Kampal in a bad light. आज जो मेरा 50, 60 लाख जो मेरा प्रोड्यूसर का जो पैसा बर्बाद हो रहा है, उसका जॉब करी कौन लेगा? मेयर ले रहा है, मेयर बोलता है मैं यहाँ का ओनर हूँ, कबीर बोलता है मैं यहाँ का भरकार हूँ, तो किसको किसको पैसा बांटने का है? The residents of Kampal claim that they are never taken into confidence when CCP decides to allow shoots in their area. They accept that they took donations from the film crew. And it was decided to accept a donation on behalf of the association with an official receipt to be given so that the proceeds could be used to do up the facades of the houses and the surroundings as the ad industry was deriving benefit from the houses of private owners. We find this very fair. They have also said that if film producers find this as an extortion, then they should find any other location for their shootings. Giving a donation to the association for maintenance of the area, which will ultimately benefit them too, amounts to extortion. We would sincerely advise them to find any other location and leave the Kampal Heritage area. Meanwhile, Corporators get out the mayor Surendra Furtado and demanded immediate action against the corporator involved in accepting money. Till, uh, till we take a special meeting and till it is decided who is taking money because one of the fellows said that uh, there are phone calls coming from uh, CCP office. Let the film fraternity write to the police department saying that these people are taking uh, money from us. Then let something come out, no? Then we can take action. They have also warned CCP and ESG that such type of high-handedness will not be tolerated. Omkar Falari and Devendra Gaonkar for Prudent. Drug business in the state seems on the rise, keeping police on the toes. Data of seizure and arrest made by anti-narcotic cell of Goa police shows it all. The drug seizure number-wise as well as amount-wise have gone up. Till now, in past six months, anti-narcotic cell has seized drugs worth 34 lakh rupees. Whereas for the last year, total drug seizure was worth 48 lakhs. An indication that the figure will likely cross the past year by December end. Moreover, the seizures are not restricted to coastal areas. The peddlers have penetrated the drug market in the capital city now. In the first six months of 2013, anti-narcotic cell of Goa police has registered six cases of drug trafficking. In these cases, ANC has seized drugs worth rupees 33 lakhs, 92,500 rupees. ANC has seized 218 kgs of ganja and 22.68 kgs of charas. In addition to that, other police stations have also seized drugs worth rupees 3 lakh 73 thousand and 530 rupees. Charas 2.18 kg, ganja 634 grams and cocaine 19.5 grams. Arrests made by anti-narcotic cell also indicate that Nepali nationals are involved this year in drug trafficking. Last year no Nepali was arrested but this year three Nepali nationals have been arrested. ANC also arrested three Indian and one Nigerian national. Meanwhile, eight Indians, two South African and one Russian were arrested by other police stations. The rising drug business has kept the police on the toes. Comparison of the data with last year shows that the ANC has acted and cracked down more cases as in the year 2012, taking total seizure to almost 47.5 lakhs. A reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.